Hi everyone, this is Brian and today I was going to be doing a quick little lesson tutorial video on how to play Miss Gordenko by The Police from the Synchronicity record, a song written by Stuart Copeland, uh, his one song off that record. And I was going to break it down a little bit, um, show you the little parts that Andy Summers is playing on it. It's a cool little tune, it's one of their shortest, I believe it clocks in just a little bit over two minutes. It's got some cool chords, some neat arpeggiating and finger picking from Andy Summers, and it's got a neat little guitar solo in it too, so we'll break all that down and, and uh, hopefully make it a little easier for you to play it if you want to play this song. Um, so anyway, it starts off uh, with uh, some pretty fast picking. It's about 120 BPM, so my recommendation is to play it slow and build up because it's a, it's a little tricky. But once you get it, it, it rolls around pretty good. Um, but it starts off, it basically outlines two chords at the beginning, an E7 dominant and a D7 dominant. Um, so it, uh, the, the arpeggios follow those chords, but the, the, uh, the way he plays those shapes, he doesn't play the straight E7 to the D7. Um, he actually flips it and inverts it. Uh, it's a third inversion E7 chord, so it starts with the D, where my pinky is, on the 12th fret on the D string, and it's got the E and the G sharp on the subsequent strings on the, the, the G and the B. So, and then it starts off, it doesn't start off on the low D, it starts off on the E. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? And then it shifts down two frets, same position, okay, but you're outlining the D7 chord with a uh, third inversion with the C in the bass where my pinky is. So you don't change the shapes, you just change the position. Okay? And then on this chord, he actually does play the C in the bass. Same finger, same finger picking pattern, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, but it starts off on the C. And then back to... So it alternates. Okay? And then the... And then the other chord that he plays there is also a variant on the D7 chord. He adds this A on the 10th fret on the B string. So it's A, C, D. And the picking pattern is still the same, starting on the A. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? And then it goes back to the... pretty easy. It just takes a while to get it up to speed. So practice it at a slow speed and then your goal is about 120 BPM. Um, and then the other part is it starts off on an A. It's an open A chord starting with the A on your pinky. Um, on the seventh fret on the D string you're playing a C sharp with your ring finger on the G string, sixth fret, and the B is open. Same picking pattern, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then basically it, it, it goes down to a G with an F sharp in the bass. Okay, so you're playing the F sharp here on the fourth fret. You move your middle finger to the E on the fifth fret on the B string, and your pinky is on the, uh, on the, on the uh, D on the G string. So again, uh, it follows that same picking pattern, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so it's the A, the G with the F sharp in the bass, and you just move your index finger up one fret. Okay? And it follows that same picking pattern. And the other thing, uh, the, the other little chord is, is when it goes to the, is there anyone alive in here? Nobody but us, that part there. It goes to, it changes, it changes the tonal center and it goes from A major to A minor. So you're basically playing an open A minor chord. So you got open A string, you got your A on the seventh fret on the D string, and you got your C on the fifth fret on the G string. And then 
changes to the D minor here. There's no third in there, so it just you just kind of bar your your uh, index finger. You got to kind of bend your knuckle a little bit to get that C in there. So you got your D on the on the fifth fret on the A string. You got your A ring finger on the seventh fret, and you got your C. You can see my finger is kind of bent here a little bit, but I'm getting the C down here on the on the fifth fret on the G string. alternates those two chords and then it goes to that nobody but us which is this riff down here it's just e e d oh, i'm sorry e c a c a and then the second time you just take that g on the third on the third fret on the e and that's how you do it anyway so those are the basic chord patterns and shapes and the finger picking patterns for the uh, song and I'm going to stop down and uh, we'll break down the solo part. Oh, and, and, and the last little part is that last chord that they play at the very end where they go. And then it's an A major chord and it's got the C sharp in the bass. So you're just basically playing C sharp here on the fourth fret on the A string and the A. So, okay, pretty easy. Anyway, so start with that at a slow tempo. Uh, just remember the picking pattern is the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And um, just start it at the slow tempo. You want Your goal is about 120 BPM. And once you get it, it's a fun song to play. So I'm gonna stop down and I'm gonna, we'll do the solo part. <laughs> 